welcome back to City of Fears Pretoria. Uh, we're gonna do this. Hopefully not get shot at by the resistance right here. Woohoo, I made it in. Alright. Is this a defeat? Oh, I think this is a defeat all too. Drive away to sell. Do room in Seems like an ad hoc base of operations for dust cells plaguing the compound. From the look of things, the rangers haven't been here very long. Yay. Yeah, let's just take a look because I gotta beat up people. Okay, nothing over there. Right, they're right inside the door. Get them. Oh, I forgot to... Well, I'll make this episode a lot easier anyway. It is a defeat all. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, nothing over here. Okay, good, 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 good. We gotta defeat Doom and Bird. I love how that's spelled. Doom. Guy down at the end. Scanning for threats. Yeah. Why are you smoking, man? That's bad for you. Hey, guess what? I got something for you. Bonk. <laughs> gotcha. Doom. Where are you? I had my very first character was a character called Doom Ravager. Ugh, I don't miss him. Energy Blaster. Didn't know what I was doing when I made him. I don't even miss the look. The look was just so... Uh, I think I get upset when people didn't like his look. I'm just like, why? His look was meh. I take criticism fairly well, unlike back then. Now it's just like, eh. You don't like it? Okay. It's like people had a... Someone didn't like uh, Halu's look the other day. And I was like going, okay, so what do you not like about it? I just really wanted to know. It's like, well, you don't get to Vince. I'm not. I'm, I'm curious. What don't you like about it? And he's like, she looks old. And I'm like... Well, yeah, I wanted her to be an older character. That's why I designed her that way. <laughs> like, oh, it's a game of superheroes. She shouldn't be old. Okay, then. So you're saying old people can't be superheroes. Cool. Well, thank you. I'll just break that cliche. Okay, so Doom and Bird are all both going to be in here. Not much of a map. Sorry, you had to go. Man, I got to get her enhanced again. Yay. Anybody down there? One dude. Hey. Mark. No, my name's Eve. Ow, jerk. I see that um, weapon hurts my endurance. I don't like that. Stop. 
Stop spraying me with happy, happy slime. I just watched Ghostbusters 2 again, too. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's see. Come on. <laughs> Am I going to be fighting them at the same time? Probably. That's fun. Gotcha. Wow. Well, there's Captain Muldoon. Hey, where's Doom and Bird? But I can't let you leave. You're endangering the whole world. Well, hold on a second. I got a proposition to make. Okay. Caps his calm link and tells the dust forces under his command to currently stand down. Then he turns his attention to you. Listen, friend. <coughs> Oh, you were doomed. <laughs> I could cite some outlandish protocol in the dust rules of engagement that allows for parlay with third-party aggressors, but I don't want to waste your time. I'll skip straight to the introductions. I'm Captain Muldoon of Dust Cell. I report to Colonel Vargas of DSEC in the Free Fire Zone. And who might you be? Powers Division or something? Nice try, Captain... Or something. Captain, you and your men will uh, make an immediate tactical withdrawal. You're offering us a chance to retreat? Clemency? Why? In exchange for what? You wanted a parlay, so here we are. Tell me why your cell is so close to the compound. I can't really say more than Dust is having a bit of an organizational crisis at the moment. DSEC sent my cell on a scouting mission to check the sectors of uh, Elton beyond the fringes of the free fire zone. We were to record anything out of the ordinary and we that we could report back. My cell isn't the only one on this mission. It's just it's just that you it's just the one that ran into me. Shove off, Captain, and leave the compound. Understood. All units stand down, fall back. Yeah, I'm, I'm not derezzing anybody. I didn't have to fight Bird. Whew, whew. Okay. So we gotta go back and talk to the Hetman. Where is he? Like that's just a base portal here now. So, you took care of that dust problem. That's a pretty impressive feat. How'd you manage to pull it off? I persuaded the cell's captain to have his men make a tactical withdrawal. You let them go? Are you insane? What in the... Ward made you think that was a good idea? I don't have to explain myself to you. We had a deal. All right, girl. You go right on ahead with those pacifist notions and see how far it gets you here in the gumbo and the deal we struck don't forget included you finding out why this particular dust cell had ranged so far out of the free fire zone the captain said dust was having organizational crisis and just what is that supposed to mean that's all i got now let me see the monarch deal's a deal but listen up I've already told you the monarch's a good man. He still is, but he tore up from the floor. Up. Uh, what? With his obsession about his daughter he's never had. I tread lightly around that issue, and I certainly wouldn't get my hopes up about him letting you see the carnies we have in the clink. That's just what not, that's not gonna happen. Not the way I see it, anyway. I'll take my chances. Yeah, it was a pleasure, Hetman. <sighs> I'll 
continue this next time. I'll see you guys in the near future. And thank you for watching.